Hi, it's Tom here from 4 Cladding Services and claddingmate.co.uk. Today I'm going to talk to you about why you should change a seal for a vacuum lifter and also when you should change them. So this is a seal from a, a Clabboy vacuum lifter and essentially it is just a piece of rubber it will sit in a suction pad of a vacuum lifter. <clears throat> These things come in all shapes and sizes and different compounds but and they all have the same job. So the seal is the part of vacuum lifter that connects whatever it is you're lifting to the vacuum lifter itself. And because of that, it is the most important thing to look after. Seals are the thing that make a vacuum lifter safe or unsafe. And if a vacuum lifter becomes unsafe, then there can potentially be quite deadly things because things can drop from them and hit people. And for this very reason, this is why that you should look after these seals. And if you're not looking after them, if you've got any signs of any wear or damage in them, you should change them. When it comes to safety, safety is not a thing that you should be a cheapskate about. So when exactly should you change the seals? Well, as the name suggests, a vacuum lifter uses a vacuum to lift things. It sounds quite simple, but basically it removes the air between what it is you're lifting and the suction pad. And this seal plays a vital role in that kind of works a bit like when you've got a vacuum cleaner and you stick it to your hand or whatever other body part you, body part you want to stick it to, each to their own, I'm not one to judge. But essentially a vacuum lifter does that just on an industrial scale. And this plays a key role. A seal, as the name suggests, helps create an airtight seal between what it is you're lifting and the suction pad. Any slight crack tear, rip or hole in this means that that vacuum seal cannot be either cannot be achieved or it leads to a vacuum loss. Now vacuum leaks and vacuum loss can lead to accidents. It's important to note that if you're using a vacuum lifter and there are some scuffs or rips or anything like that and you're still achieving vacuum that that can change at any moment. So it's best not to be a cheapskate about it and just get it changed.